Sorry, uh, my name is Adam Sherkayoum, head instructor Q23, uh, and my partner here today, Shannon Kai, a fighter from their championships, Bangkok, Thailand. So today we're going to uh, demonstrate um, a situation that happens quite quite common in MMA after you've gotten the takedown, and uh, two situations can arise from it. We're going to deal with one of the situations today. So, <clears throat> after the takedown, you achieve side control. Okay. Now, usually, a trained a trained person with good jujitsu skills will be able to come back to guard from. But likewise, a good jujitsu fighter that's on top is also able to maintain side control here. And sometimes the only option for the fighter on the bottom is to escape by giving him your back, right? So when you're on side control from here. In, in, in MMA, sometimes you'll see fighters, they'll start to do hammer fists from here, and they'll start to roll. So now, we're going to show the position on how to, main, how to maintain control when the fighter goes into a turtle position. Okay? So as he rolls, I'm going to make sure my hip pressure is good. So I'm going to turn to my right hip, insert my right hand inside his thigh, and the other hand here cupping his, his, his tricep. So from here, you can do a, a variety of strikes. The hook to the ear, the hammer fist to the other side of the ear, uh, and usually uh, main events, uh, uh, most uh, MMA events, hammer striking to the back of the head, the mohawk line is illegal. So it's usually to the side, to the hook, and the other one is quite common also, is the uppercut that comes in through the sides here, these openings. So this is how you can strike from this position. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his back. So after I've made him cover up here, right from here, I'm going to throw my left hand in and make my fingers meet in an S grip. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to change my hip like this, load my weight on it, and put my head on the ground. Latch on tight across his chest. From here, throw my legs up. And now from here, I'm going to pull Shannon while having his shoulder blades attached to my chest. And with this posture from here, I can pull Shannon up and over. Get his back. From here, I want to establish hand control. Pull out my arm and then establish seatbelt control. I want to make sure there's no gaps. Keep close. I'm going to come across here, peel his hand and hook it with my foot. So now he only has one hand to defend. So now he's gonna be controlling this. Now I'm just gonna peel off that arm, slide my arm even deeper, latch it on tightly, and then finish the move. Now from here, I'm gonna make sure I pinch my knees together while pinching my elbows, shrugging my shoulders, and pushing my chest towards the back of his neck and stretching him with my legs. That's a rear naked choke. Time. Establish side control, good hip pressure, no space, start hitting with hammer fists, hooks, he starts to roll, I maintain good pressure, cupping his hip, controlling the hip on the opposite side, checking his elbow, applying strikes, Attaching the S grip, changing my hip position, putting my head on the foot, rolling, and now inserting my hooks, controlling the hand position, and now attaching the seat belt. There's going to be a, a, a grip fight here. I'm going to take away one defense, lock it up, start to insert my arm, latch it on tightly, clear any obstruction and then put on the rear naked choke. Pinch the elbows, pinch the knees, and stretch. There you go. And that was the technique from obtaining the back from when someone turns into a turtle. Amaka, thank you.
สวัสดีครับ